What's up you guys? Welcome back to the Trist Artist channel. I am so happy that you are here because today I have a self-care haul. And because of February and my whole self-love, self-worth theme for this month, I bought myself some stuff that really helps me out. So I wanted to share it with you. You might get some inspiration from it and buy some of this for yourself. Of course you don't have to, but it might inspire you to treat yourself a little bit uh, this year in February and yeah, to love yourself more. So the first thing that I wanted to mention are these studio earphones. And I've mentioned these on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there yet, please do. I do Instagram stories and Instagram uh, pictures. And for this month, I try to show a little bit more self-love on my feed. So nice quotes, nice pink colors, because I thought that would suit really well with the theme. So they are wireless. They do have a wire, but you use Bluetooth. To, to connect it to your smartphone or to your laptop and you can just plug it in. It looks kind of weird. You can also wear it like this or underneath your hair. And I do really love it because when I'm doing laundry or walking the dog or calling someone, I can listen to music or podcasts or when I am working, I walk around a lot and I don't want to be connected with um, my laptop or phone and I love this it is so small it has really nice gold rose gold detailing it is more pink I guess and I think it looks really cute definitely a good investment as well I use this every day so um, yeah wanted to mention that one so lately I wanted to diffuse more oils and I also mentioned, mentioned it in my bullet journal video because I made a self-care menu and it said diffuse oils. So I bought myself a lavender oil. Lavender helps with like relaxation and um, I also use it when I go to sleep. So a few drops of this in my diffuser and it um, gives, gives that aroma therapy feeling, you know. So yeah, that is really nice, really calm and relaxing. Definitely a self-care, uh, love, like, whatever you want to call it. So the next thing I wanted to talk to you about are these Paula's Choice products. And again, this is not sponsored. I love their liquid um, exfoliators. And this is the Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid salic Salicylic Acid. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Um, but I really love this stuff. I already had one before this one. It was a blue packaging and it was the extra strength one. Then I also bought two mini size products to try out. So first this is the Resist Youth Extending Daily Mattifying Fluid and it has SPF 50 in it so that is really nice. You don't have to add sunscreen on top of your moisturizer so that is great and it is for normal oily and combination skin. Well that is perfect because I have a dry to oily, <laughs> that sounds weird, combination skin. And um, yeah, I've been loving this. I already use this a lot and I think I will buy a full size in the future. Oh, and by the way, this is perfect for traveling as well because it is really small. From that same line, I bought the Resist Anti-Aging Clear Skin Hydrator. And this is just a moisturizer without SPF. So I use this as a night cream and it has a little pump like this. But I don't really like the pump. I like that it is hygienic and it doesn't spread germs and stuff. But I don't like the pump itself because you have to pump it a lot before something comes out. And I'm like, 
I, I barely use this and it already looks or it feels like it is almost finished, you know? So I'm like, hmm. But maybe that, that is just the case with the small size, I'm not sure. Some other self-care products that I bought are these two. So this is a Dutch brand, I believe, and it is called Beauty and Planet. And this one is a very big bottle of a vegan body wash and I use this for shaving as well because it is really creamy. This one is shea butter and sandalwood oil and the packaging is made of um, recycled uh, products so plastic and stuff. Um, also it is 97% uh, biodegradable so not fully but at least it is something and Ethically sourced sandalwood oil is in here, natural soya butter and organic coconut oil. I like that it has a pump so I don't use too much. Sometimes you have those bottles and you squeeze it and you are like, okay, that was way too much. So one pump is enough for like washing and stuff and I can shave my legs with this, like I said. Um, so that is really nice. I. I really like the scent, it is definitely warm. This is the same kind of um, scent, but this is a condi conditioner. And for my shampoo, I already use a shampoo bar by Lush, which doesn't have any packaging, so that is even more perfect than something like this, because you don't know what will happen with this packaging, it probably won't be recycled. So yeah, that is good to think about, but at least it is a little bit better. And I also forgot to mention that it is vegan, so that's nice as well. Especially because when you are like buying stuff and thinking about yourself, it is also really good to think about others and about the environment and about animals and stuff, so yeah. Next thing that I wanted to show you is my yoga mat and I never owned one before but I am trying to get into yoga and I go to classes in my gym or at my gym and I wanted to have my own because pff, I must admit the mats that you can use there they smell like dirty socks because everyone sweats on it and stuff, so I was like, I need to buy my own. Um, so I'm really happy that I did. This is by the brand Eco Yogi, I believe. I'm going to put it on the screen because I'm not quite sure. Um, I love the color. Look how cool it looks with the, the plants and stuff. Oh, I'm such a sucker for aesthetically pleasing looking things. Um, but yeah, I must admit I've only used it like twice since I've got it because I got really sick and <clears throat> I'm still trying to get over that groggy voice and stuff. Um, but yeah, I uh, do like it. It is a very long one because I'm so tall. I'm uh, 180 centimeters, so this one is 2 meters long, which is really nice. I can fit on it and... Um, I must say it is quite, it, it gets slippery if it gets wet. So if you sweat a lot, this is not for hot yoga, you know, this is more for like relaxed yoga. And um, yeah, I must admit, I can't wait to use it again because I want to relax more and get more flexible. I've already noticed that since I've been doing yoga, I get more... Uh, strength in my body but also I can move my body better because you use all of your muscles. So this was my self-care slash self-love haul. I hope you liked it and yeah give this video a thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you next time.